All right, man, let's talk about the Detroit Lions traveling to uh, Dallas right before the turn of the new year, December 30th, this Saturday, to take on the Cowboys. Um, Dallas is coming off a loss in Miami, which they are pretty putrid on the road. We coming off a win um, versus the, uh, you know, Minnesota Vikings. It was a big win for us. Uh, clinched the division, and now with the San Francisco 49ers losing, now there's a glimmer of hope that the Lions can get the number one seed. The Eagles almost lost. I felt that had the Giants started Tyrod Taylor, the Eagles would have lost, and something not going on right in Philadelphia. Um, it mostly got to do with the lack of defense that was there last year and a lack of running game. So this thing could be, you know, wide open, but Dallas is 7-0 and at the crib. Um, we six and two on the road, so that ain't too shabby. They virtually unbeatable at the crib, but um, when you look at some of the home games they had, um, you know, uh, the Jets they were putrid at the time, New England putrid, um, you know, the Rams that was a good win, you know, uh, the Giants. You know, the Commanders, the Seahawks was another good win for them, um, even though they kind of slippery and sliding right now. Um, I think they won yesterday. I could be wrong. The Eagles, they were sliding at the time. So, uh, really, a lot of their home games um been virtually easy. You know, um, that's what you can say. All these games have been easy. Um, the Rams kind of were struggling at the time. So most of their tough schedule has been on the road, man. I mean, you look at the guys they play on the road. Um, they lost to Arizona. You know, and that was part of the Dobbs hot era. You know, going to Philadelphia, um, going to Buffalo, going to Miami. Really, their schedule just not got hard, to be honest. The way it's, it's, it's being put out. Most of the schedule has been most. I mean, ain't that many good teams. You know, everybody can say that about playing a really soft schedule. But uh, I think Seattle won yesterday. Had they lost, we would have, you know, we would have been in regardless of the big three or loss over Minnesota. So hold on, let's see. If they, yeah, they six and six. So they won. They beat the Titans Sunday, excuse me, not yesterday. I think they beat the Titans. Yeah, they beat them by three. So they keep their playoff uh, hopes alive. You know, Gino came back and, and all that stuff. So, um, you know, and it's, it's, this is a very interesting game. Um, the virtually unstoppable Cowboys at the crib, um, um, you know, and they just like a different team on the road. But like I said, a lot of the teams they're playing on the road are better than what they're playing at the crib. You know, and you don't really – Pick when you obviously don't like it ain't college football where you, you know, pick your schedule or don't pick when you play these guys. You know, they just happen to catch Philly, you know, on the road where they just was dysfunctional. Um, they happen to catch, uh, um, I mean, at home, you know, they happen to catch, uh, who else would I say they, 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 they happen to uh, catch at the crib that, that really wasn't rolling like that, uh. Oh, you know, Seattle. They they was you know, Seattle was solid though. So, you know, like I said, Seattle probably their best home victory at the time. Because Philadelphia, I mean, I don't know what's going on there. But nonetheless, you know, we favored by uh were well, they favored by six and a half. So that's that's a that's a lot of points. So usually the home team customarily get three points. So they virtually saying that, you know, the Lions really ain't got no chance in this game. You know, they basically got Dallas winning by a touchdown. So they dangerous at home, though. Um, over and under is 52 and a half. That's pretty high. Um, the opening spread was five and a half. That's still high. They only give us a 29.7% chance to win, 70.1% chance for Dallas. Um, I can't believe Tony Pollard got 886 yards because this seemed like he ain't did shit this year. You know, Jared Goff is passed from – I didn't know he passed for more passing yards than Dak Prescott. Their numbers virtually is identical. 
other than three picks and three touchdowns going the other way. Uh, C.D. Lamb, who's a glorified slot receiver, uh, you know, the difference between him and St. Brown is, you know, C.D. Lamb got the size to play on the outside. He play on the slot, and that kind of concerns me uh, what the Lions going to do there. I don't like Branch versus C.D. Lamb in the slot at all. So um, I think it's some things there. But uh, Gardner Johnson still on IR. Uh, his practice window open yeah, yeah, last year, last week. Brock Wright, Jerry Jacobs, Derek Barnes, Josh Pascal, all questionable. We need them guys. Uh, especially defensive players, Tyler Smith with the hamstring out. They start left tackle. I think he's a rookie. And Jonathan Hankins, he's still doing it. It's questionable. So in the last five, you know, Dallas is five and two. We five and two. Um, but you know, uh this this game, you know, I think it's 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 really not complicated for the Lions to win this game. But to talk about Dallas real quick for them, um, you know, you want to exploit that matchup with C.D. Lamb. You know, he had, what, 10 targets? A lot, a lot of people said he should have had 17 targets. Um, you know, that's what people were saying. Uh, you know. You know, and, you know, I think that's a matchup that you got to watch out for. Uh uh, you know, uh, I think that's a that's what you got to watch out for. That's their number one thing. And then you can't let them run the football. You know, that's the number one thing, man. You can't let them come in here and run the football. You know. You know. You know, so one thing about it is uh, one thing about it is, in my opinion, you have to, you know, don't let them get the run game going. I think they got to have a plan for C.D. Lamb in the slot. Now, I didn't see um, I didn't see uh, Cam, Cam Sutton travel in the slot. So I didn't seen that, but you know, my my um you know my uh remedy for that, I just would have Melifano cover C D land wherever he go in the slot. That's what I would do. Um that's what I would do. You know, somebody that's big, athletic, fast, that can stick with them. Um and the thing about it is, uh, I think Brandon Cook's got a really good matchup. Uh, I think Brandon Cook's got a really good matchup out there. So you got to watch Brandon Cook's too because he can take the top off the defense. Gallup really ain't been the same since the knee injury. But also you got to respect Tony Pollard coming out that backfield as well too. So I think for Dallas, it's really going to be about exploiting that C.D. Lamb matchup. Uh, I think it's also going to be about, uh, you know, uh, and, and getting Brandon Cooks the ball going down the field, looking to get those big chunk plays down the field. And then defensively for them is, you know, uh, hopefully Ben Johnson is, is pass happy. Um, that way, um, you know, they don't exploit Dallas soft middle, you know. You know, Dallas is really soft in the middle, so that way they don't exploit it. Uh, so one thing about Dallas, probably the screen game won't be as lucrative because um, they're very fast sideline and sideline, but how you attack Dallas is up the middle of the defense, and I think that's the number one thing for the Lions. If I'm the Lions, um, if I'm the Lions, I'm 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 looking for a power run game. I'm looking to hold the ball for a time of possession. You know, I'm looking just to you know line the full back up, back line the full back up. You know, line them up and and smack the uh and, and smack Dallas right in their mouth. I'm coming to play smash my football. 
I'm coming to do what Jared Goff do best. Um, and, you know, that's, uh, you know, run the ball, run the ball, run the ball, run the ball, play action. And, you know, try to get to try to fake out those those linebackers. But I think I think they should run the ball way more and they pass it, control the time of possession at AT&T Stadium. Um, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. Uh, so uh, trying to control that time of possession. Uh, and then defensively, like I said, I think you got to have a plan for C.D. Lamb, stop the run, have a plan for Brandon Cooks not to take, you know, not to beat you down the, uh, deep down the field. So I think Malifano traveling with C.D. Lamb, that's what I would do, especially in the slot. And, you know, I would try to, you know, you know, make sure I don't let Brandon, Brandon Cooks beat me deep, keep somebody over the top at all times. And then whatever happens after that, so be it. But, um I like Dallas in this game, to be honest. I don't see the Lions going there. I think it's probably going to be impossible to go there and win. I think the Dallas win about 30 to 22. I think they they cover the spread. I hate to say it, but they're a different piece at the crib. So 30 to 22, but if the Lions get this victory, uh, they're going to have some momentum, but I just don't see them getting it. So shout out to the Lions prediction playlist. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video. Um, um, in addition to that, man, uh the game is on a Saturday at 8 15. Um, I want to say I think Michigan play on the first. They play in a Rose Bowl, they got the early game. So yeah, Michigan play um uh, yeah, on the first. So yeah, 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 yeah. Um so yeah, we play uh Detroit play on Saturday. Then I think Michigan plays on Monday. So yeah, big football game. Uh, shout out to Sparty sitting at the crib though. Peace.